dancing it head on and meeting with senators one on one, which is what he should do. If a, a track record of, of numerous infidelities um, and alleged sexual mis misconduct and alleged problems with alcohol that he's either denied or said doesn't represent him anymore, this, this is who he is. Would you hire somebody that, that had these descriptions about who he was to, to run your office, given what we know is a fact and the allegations? I mean, do you not really have any concerns? Well, you, you kind of mix two words there together there, uh, Jake, which is the fact of the allegations. Let's look at these in two different buckets. The first is the 2017 incident that you referenced. The prosecutor, the female prosecutor, decided not to move forward with, with charges. I'd be interested to see, as a former prosecutor myself, Attorney General of Missouri, what other surrounding documents and memoranda might exist that related to that decision not to charge. Um, and then secondly, now you have, again, a bunch of anonymous uh, um, folks coming for not even coming forward who are in the shadows claiming something mm -hmm. and I just don't think that's a that's a reason why um, you would you know dismiss somebody from a very important role like this and so well, I, I said the facts and the allegations because the facts of the infidelities of how he has run his personal life are just facts and frankly as a married man and a father absolutely disgraceful but beyond that um, there are these allegations he paid hush money to his accuser in California. I've never paid hush money to anybody. Well, he settled a lawsuit um, that, again, the, ch the underlying charges were deemed by a prosecutor as baseless. And, and those are the facts. But again, I think this is a, uh, um, again, people are entitled to ask these questions. He's entitled to give an answer, and he's answering those questions. And the Senate's going to come together and vote on his, his nomination to lead an agency that has failed another audit. Um, that has recruitment problems because it's di dividing the room by race with this divisive, discriminatory DEI agenda that they have. It's been politicized like every other agency under this Biden administration. So President Trump ran on a reform agenda. That includes our Department of Defense. And I think Pete Hexketh uh, fits that mold. Republican Senator Eric Schmidt of Missouri, always good to see you, sir. Thank you so much for coming by. Sure thing, Jake. Coming up, we're going to talk to Pete Hexketh's attorney in his first TV interview. That's just in a few minutes. But first.